Whether you're happy or not, we are living in times where AI seems to be improving super fast and can handle more and more difficult tasks. Today we are going to look at AI in terms of learning sound design and helping with some jobs you may one day get. My name is Kuba, welcome on Cactus Sound and let's begin new year with this video. So let me just tell you that I've used this tool in few different cases and I was more than impressed with the outcome. And that's why I thought about skipping Google and YouTube in the process of searching answers and just use this AI chat from chat openai.com to help me with my imaginary rookie sound designer problems. If it's your first time here, please be sure to hit subscribe to see more upcoming sound related videos and leave a like after watching this video. If you haven't talked with this guy before and you are like me, rather more impressed than scared, I really suggest you trying. It can blow your mind. Mine was blown a few times. To give you some context, let me just show you this. I've asked on chat about uh, suggesting a plot for a video commercial for my brand with few things about me. And this is what it came back with. Just look at this. It's giving me the whole plot, describes setting, each scene one by one. It wrote voiceover and it even created nice claim for the ending. If you want to read this whole answer and every other in the video, please just pause at the end of every screen capture part. So, as you can see, it can definitely handle things. Let's get back to our topic and start with some basic things. Can you please teach me how to become sound designer? Nothing seems to be bad advice here. In general, those are the things you will hear from most of us. The question was very general, so the answer is unspecific too. But overall, learn, build a portfolio, get experience, stay up to date. That's how most of us got to where we are now. Uh, let's kick a hornet's nest. Abra, can you name the best doll? Uh huh. So it's very polite at the Do battlefield. It's a good idea to try out a few different options to find the one that works best for you. Okay, so let's create a real problem. You are a beginner, got a job on an indie game project and uh, one of the main NPC in the game is this guy. So as you can see, it's also AI generated. That's what I typed into text to image tool in Canva, which I use and love, by the way. Creature human sized, two legs, two arms, wearing baggy pants with small holes and a shirt with armor vest on it. Instead of skin, it has feathers and its head is similar to a chicken human hybrid. It stands on a road in the middle of Badlands in style of Mad Max and Matrix. So let's ask our lovely chatbot to help us with designing sounds for this creature. I am working on a video game sound design. I need to create vocalizations and follies for main NPC. Here's the description of this creature I am working on. Blah, 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 blah. Can you please guide me? How should I do it? What do we have here? For the vocalizations, you should use birds, chickens and pitching and doing some reverb and echo stuff and some obvious tips to make foley's and what foley's are and what should you focus on. So it's not giving me the exact steps on how to do it, instead it splits a general idea into steps and things to consider uh, before even start working on sounds. And I like it a lot. I like it's about giving you some advices and guidelines instead of a finished product or step-by-step -step tutorial. There's uh, still space for your own creativity, it just seems like you have your more experienced body behind you trying to help you find the correct way to make proper sound effects. 
Let's give him another task. How about a loopable background atmosphere sound for a fantasy movie based on an alien planet where are no plants, no mammals, but a lot of alien insects and it's very windy. How to make such a sound? Not too fancy, but also not too difficult. However, tips given by our beloved chatbot are accurate and surely could help if you for some reason had no idea how to start. How about synths? I am not a synth master at all. Maybe I can learn something too. How to create laser gunshot with synthesizer. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me just use these tips to make a 5 minute synth laser gunshot. Boom. Here we have it, of course needs a lot of different layers and sound effects to make it beefy, powerful and modern, but it's for sure a good place to start your sound design process. Let's give him last shot, this could be interesting. What's the best way to record a moon crashing into Earth? Oh, you little crafty AI being. Safety first, but still some tips on how to make it. So, can AI teach how to become a sound designer? Can AI help you become a better sound designer? Can AI warn you before you decide to sacrifice your career and life for some super dangerous recordings? The answers for all of these questions is yes, or probably yes. This kind of tools in the open versions are still being improved and we definitely should expect them to become better and better, more reasonable and more human. I am excited, I can't wait to see where it will take us, what kind of help or knowledge AI could provide in future and what are your thoughts? Do you see dark and dangerous future with AI development in the background? Or you are as pumped as I am? Let me know in the comments whether you are Team Sarah Connor or Team Cactus. I would love to know what do you think about AI development. That's all for today. Until next time. <laughs>